Good day. Welcome to Cat Simplify channel. Today's lesson, we are going to look at how powerful rural settings can be in terms of using it in Microsoft Word. Now we can use this ruler setting to change our margins, to use it for tab stops, indentation, as well as the table alignment. So this lesson, I'm going to take you through how we can make use of ruler settings so that we can use it or make our work easier in terms of changing our margins using it for tap stop, indentation, and then whenever you want to align your table. Right. So let's begin with the indentation. Now, basically, we have different categories of indentation. Now, if you cannot find your ruler setting, you just go to view, and then you activate the ruler settings. You just click on it and then it will display. So right now I'm going to use the ruler settings to make sure that um, we have different types of indentation. I would use this paragraph as an example. Now when I click inside this paragraph, if I want to use it for left ally, um, indentation at two centimeters, these calibrations here, I must move both the top and then the down to two centimeters. In case you make a mistake, and then let's say, instead of you to move both top and down, you only move the top one. Let's say you made a mistake and then you move only the bottom one to two centimeters. So you just have to take this one from zero up to two centimeters again. So this is the left indent. Now, for the right indent, I'll be using the second paragraph as an example. This is the right indent. So if I move it to, let's say, 14 centimeters, so that's the right indent. It has been moved to about two centimeters. And then also we have another type of indentation, which is called the first line indent and then the hanging indent. Those two type of indents are part of the special indent. So when I click here, the first line indent is the one on top. So let's say I'm moving it to three centimeters. It means I'm moving the first line to start from the three centimeters from the ruler. And then the hanging indent of two centimeters. That one will be the bottom one. So we take it back. So the hanging indent, the top one should be at zero. The bottom one should be at the centimeter that the question requires you to place them. So if you move it less than three centimeters, so this is called the hanging indent. This is the hanging indent, and this one is the first line indent. The first line indent. Then this is the right indent. And this one is the left indent at two centimeters. Right, that is using the ruler setting. Now, let's move straight to the page margins. Now, using the ruler settings to set your page margin. You know, whenever you are asked to change the margin of your document, you don't need to move straight to the layout and then margins, then you set it up. It's a long process. Unless they are telling you to set it to one of these margins, like the narrow, moderate, wide, or mirrored, or the office 2003 default margin. If not that, then it's easier to go to the ruler settings Double click, not at the bottom. It can be in the middle of, of anywhere in the ruler or on top. So double click, it opens the page setup for you or in the middle. Double click, that's going to open the page setup for you. 
Now, under the page setup, we can use it for margins to change the paper size as well as change the vertical alignment. So let's say we want to change the margins to 2.7. So you change the margin. Right, or the, as well as the gutter margin, the question will specify, and then also the orientation. And then the multiple pages, two pages per sheet or book fold. All of them we can find it under the page setup. And then the layout, vertical margin to center or justify or top. So all these, you'll get it under the ruler settings. You can do that also. Right. So you just go to the ruler settings, double click anywhere, and then it will open the page setup for you. Now let's go to another important functions or the use of the ruler setting, which is the tab store. Now I have with me here with a list that I want to place them consistently by using the tab store. Now to do that, I will make use of the ruler setting. Let's say snow, I want goes to the place at five centimeters. So when I click there, I go to five centimeters, below five centimeters, I double click. It's going to open the tab stop dialog box for me. Let me start all over. You click there. I want it less. I want it to be at four centimeters. Below four centimeters, you double click. Now you decide whether it should be the left alignment or center or the right alignment or decimal as well as the bar alignment. So let's say I want to choose left alignment for that one. Then I click on save. Okay. And then from here, I want to set another one also at seven centimeters. But this time I want it to be at center with a line between. Then I will set it. And then also I want the last part to be at 11 centimeters. But then I want it to be having a bar. Then I will set it. So now let's take a look at it. I just go here and then I press the tab or equally you can use the um, increase indent or decrease indent. So I press the tab, it takes me to the seven centimeters and this one as well. And with a bar at that position, right? So you can use the ruler settings to set your different tabs, provided um, you place them below the position that you have been given. And then you double click and it's going to give you the tab position. Right. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.